So hey guys, this is going to be my last video, favorites video I guess, of 2011 and I just have a whole bunch of products, random products, a good bit of makeup, some games, hair stuff, just um, clothing and things like that. Just everything that I absolutely loved in 2011. So I hope you had a good holiday, I hope you had a good year, and I hope you have a better 2012. And um, thanks so much for being a subscriber, being great friends, and all the support. And I truly do these videos for you guys. So you guys are amazing. So here are some of my products that I've absolutely been loving. And I'm just going to get into it. Like I said, I have a ton. Um, I'll start out with makeup first. First off, foundation. My hair is like a hot mess. I didn't do my hair really at all. Well. First off with foundation, um, and I'm out of this, and I went to the store to get one, and they were completely out of it. They didn't have this at all. Is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin, and I am in 110 Honey Beige. It is amazing. Honestly, the best foundation ever. Um, I absolutely love it. Other than that, I like the Revlon Color Stay, and that's this one, and this one is in shade Natural Tan 330. And then I just been using this because I've seen it in my drawer and I didn't want to waste it. It's a Revlon Photo Ready um, Foundation, and this one is in Golden Beige number 8, and that's what I have on actually right now. So those are my top three of all year. Um, for eyeliners, like I love eyeliners, like seriously I'm obsessed. I have a video I think dedicated to all my favorite eyeliners, pretty much the same ones. Um, this one's the Maybelline Lime Stiletto. I have the L'Oreal Telescopic um, Carbon Black one. This one's really, really good. I did bring... Here's the packaging because I bought a new one because I absolutely use this every day. So I brought it back up um, to show you guys what the package looks like if you're looking for it. Um, love this one. Um, the Master Drama by Maybelline, another one of my favorites. These are obviously all black. The Extra Intense L'Oreal Liquid Eyeliner Pencil. I'll put a link. I'll write all of my favorite eyeliners at least on the bottom. The Prestige liquid eyeliner. I have the NYC liquid liner which I did a review and I thought it was just like my YSL and I forgot my YSL but um, NYC is super cheap and it's just like it. Next is the Milani liquify. Um, I like this but it seems to like gather in my corners a lot more so than the other ones but um, I like it for like the upper lash line. It's really really good. Just not on the waterline. Um, this one is Extra Intense L'Oreal Liquid Pencil. Then I have a CoverGirl Liquid Line Blast. This is my favorite. I've went through a few of these. It has like a smudger or whatever on the end tip. And if you're looking for this, this is what the package looks like. This is a really good eyeliner as well. Next is, oh I have that one already. Last is the L'Oreal Hip um, High Intensity Pigment Crayon. Um, sometimes I use this as a liner, sometimes as a base, but um, I have them in all the colors and I'm absolutely in love with them. Okay, just a few lipsticks. My favorite lipstick is Gosh Darling, um, but I'm completely out of it so I could cry. But I have um, this one, look at this. It broke and I lost half of it. It's a golden rose, but I'm not sure what color. I know that's really helpful. I want to say it's 98, but I'm not sure. It's just a really pretty like nudish rose color. Love it. Um, even though it's broke, but oh well. Um, number 14, L'Oreal Matte Petal. They do not sell this one anymore, and it's absolutely gorgeous, and it's my favorite. I'm sure you can find it on eBay, things like that. Next is a, um, what is this? LA Colors Lipstick, and I don't know why, I just really like this color, and it's in Clip, number 395. Looks like that. Nude colors, nothing really that exciting. For, chap for chapstick, um, it's the Soft Lips is my favorite. Or I do like the Liposol, um, but I didn't bring it with me. So the Liposol or the Soft Lips are my favorite. Burt's Bees is okay, but I think it's overrated. Oh, another eyeliner, Wet n Wild Gel Liner. 
I cannot forget about this. This is my favorite um, gel liner is the Wet n Wild favorite. Next for eyebrows, it is the Maybelline Define a Brow eyeliner pencil. It looks like this. It has a little comb on the end and it's a retractable. I'm just pulling this out at random. For highlight, it is the Physician's Formula Step 3 um, of the highlight. It comes with like a doe foot applicator like that. Um, but it's a really pretty like pinkish color. If I go for a bronze, it's this and it's almost gone. It's the Me Me Me. Um, and I don't even know what shade this is. It's almost gone. It's, it looks like a nail polish thing. I think this is from the UK. My friend sent it to me and I'm so glad she sent it. I'm going to have to look it up and purchase another one soon. Um, next. For mascaras, I'll just grab because I have three here. Um, I really don't like waterproof mascaras. Um, I've tried to love them, but I just really rather not. The only waterproof one that is amazing that I wish I could find that's not waterproof is this one. It's the L'Oreal Extreme Shocking Waterproof. The blue is a primer and the black is the mascara. Amazing. It makes your lashes look so long and it has like this little brush which I would have never thought this would have worked, but it's amazing, honestly. I love this. If you can still find this, pick this up. Next, obviously, CoverGirl Lash Blast is my daily holy grail, and I normally put two different mascaras on every day. Um, my first coat normally is the YSL mascara, um, and then I normally top it off with Lash Blast, but um, this one's almost empty, actually. Okay, so I love that. Um, for a base, just I like the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I've had this forever and it lasts forever too. Like obviously I use this every day for at least probably a year and I just can't get rid of it. It's just still in there. So, but it's really good and I love it as a base for any color. Next for face primer, it would be the Gosh um, Primer. When I do use primer on my face, which isn't often, like if I'm going to a party or something that I want to make sure my makeup stays like on point, I will use a primer. Um, this Gosh feels like so smooth and it makes your skin look uh, flawless, honestly. And it comes like in a little pump, which I like. Um, Gosh isn't available around here, but you can purchase it online. Um, just Google Gosh Makeup. Okay, next for, oh, I have another lipstick in here. It's, um, it's from that collection, and this was in Peach Stock. And this is a satin finish. This is a really pretty nude color. Okay, um, what else? I have, like, a bag full of all kinds of stuff. I'll just do eyeshadows, I guess, next. I have CoverGirl Tapestry Taupe. This is probably my go-to everyday eyeshadow. I've honestly went through three of these and I never finished any kind of makeup product. Very few, but I've went through literally three pans of these. So this is my third one. Absolutely love it. Not the third one this year, but I'm talking just like since it came out. This Maybelline Brownstones. It's just a little duo quad and it's just really pretty just for kind of like a subtle kind of everyday look. Maybelline um, Stylish Smokes and Natural Smokes. These quads are always really good. All your colors are right there and you get four colors. It's just kind of grab and go in a palette. Next, um, Color Icon by Wet n Wild. Amazing. Not just this palette, any palette. I have all of them and this is what this one looks like. This one, if you're wondering, is in Vanity, but all of them you should buy because they're gorgeous. I'm going to do actually a review and collection of my Wet n Wild products. Um, what's good, what's not, what you could pass on, and things like that. So that video will be coming up maybe in January. More Wet n Wild. Um, I have this on my eyes today. It's Don't Steal My Thunder by Wet n Wild. It's the trio. Just a white, black, and like a silver color. And I don't know if you can tell, but I have it on my eyes. Really pretty. Next is Silent Treatment. This would be my favorite out of all of them. And this is another trio, and if you like neutrals, this is definitely a palette for you. It's amazing. So pigmented, like, I just love them. Okay, next, blush. Um, I only brought two, I guess. Maybelline Dream Mousse. I have a good bit of these. I found them actually at the Dollar Tree a long time ago. And my favorite is in number 30, Bamboo Brown. It's kind of like a mousse, but they last forever. 
Um, I would have thought you had to use like a lot when I first bought them. Um, but they actually blend out really nice and it doesn't make your face look like muddy or anything like that. These are really good. Next is an NYC blushing stick. I like all of them, but I just brought this one. Um, this one is in Plaza Pink 64 for u I guess. Um, and it's just, I think this was a limited edition one. I should have grabbed a different one, but it's a really pretty color. I use all of them um, normally every day for a base for my blush and they work out really good even alone, but I normally use them as a base for my blush. Okay, another last eyeshadow, I guess, is this brown smolder, and I use it every time I have like browns, um, normally in the outer crease. It's a cover girl, and it is really good. This is my favorite color brown. Okay, for contouring, um, it's the NYC Smooth Skin, and this is in matte bronzer. And everybody's seen this, it's kind of famous on YouTube, but um, I've had this literally for like a year and a half and I just hit pan on it and I use it every day. And it's really buildable, it kind of works for anybody's skin tone, you can build it up or even if you're pale, this will work for you, it's really nice. Next for another bronzer, which I'm a bronzer junkie, but since it's winter I just haven't really been using too many bronzers. Um, this is the MAC one and this is Refined Gold. And it looks like this, just a little bit of gold flux in there, not too shimmery, but um, really pretty. Normally use this for the summer, really not the winter, um, but it's really pretty. And for the summer also, I loved the Wet um, Elf Body Glow, and I don't want to, it's going to make a mess. But it's just really shimmery, bronzy, and um, it looks really good on your legs um, or your chest area, or just really everywhere, because I put it everywhere, but... Um, it comes with like a little puff and then I normally use just like a body brush, but it makes your skin look really nice and really glowing. For eyelashes, you get these at the Dollar Tree um, and I didn't think anything about them until I tried them out and they're amazing for a dollar for eyelashes. Um, these are really good. They also have the glue um, that you can buy separately. Don't even bother with the glue. If you use Duo glue with these, um, they will last forever. Um, I've reused them and they're actually really, really good. So I went back and bought like a stack of them because I was afraid like they wouldn't have any more. But they've pretty much been carrying them ever since. But these lashes are really, really good. I do have to trim these ones down a little bit, but for a dollar, definitely buy those. Thing, um, for, I'm like all over the place, right? My shirt feels like it's falling down. Okay, last thing for face is my Healthy Wear Natural to Tan. Um, this is by Physicians Formula. It's a tinted moisturizer. Again, I normally use this only in summer, but it comes with a pump. I'm telling you, this is really, really good. And if you check CVS, a lot of their Physician Formula stuff's on clearance right now. So I would definitely pick one of these up. It's honestly one of my favorites. It comes in SPF 50, which is really, really good. And, um, I really like this and it just doesn't make your skin look oily like a lot of tinted moisturizers can do with sunscreen. Sometimes it makes you look like really oily. This doesn't at all. It's just really nice and it's actually a fuller coverage for a tinted moisturizer. It's more thicker so it's really good um, summer kind of foundation. <sighs> I'm out of breath. I'm talking so fast. Okay, next is nail polish and I didn't bring too many with me. Um, normally because I go get my nails pretty much done all the time and I have all this nail polish but I've been using this every year and I never finish any nail polish bottle completely other than there's two that I've done that I've bought over and over again repurchased and this one is one of them it's the Orally Cotton Candy this is such a gorgeous color for summer it's like a really pale coral color and this is my second bottle of this really really pretty and then the China Glaze Shocking Pink, which I'm out of, and I use it every day, um, all the time normally. That's what's on my toes. I just love pink. And I've went through probably three bottles of that. There is a dupe for it um, of Sinful Colors. Maybe I'll do a blog post because I forgot that nail polish um, at home. I'm actually at my new house, and we didn't move in completely yet. So um, maybe I'll do a blog post and show you how similar there are. Um, but there is a dupe for sinful colors, so it's like $1.99, and it's like the best, brightest nail polish ever, pink. Anyway, another favorite pink is Berry M, 
and this is in bright pink and it looks like that. Obviously, I love pink. You can buy Berry M on berrym.com, I do believe. I'll put the link in the information box. They have a lot of good products. Lane Finish Express, and this one is in Beige Glance, and it's just a really pretty kind of nude-ish color. Um, I really like nude kind of color polishes. Um, favorite glitter is Sinful Colors, not just this, this one. Pretty much anyone that they make, their nail polish is amazing. And then lastly is this, and it's Beautiful Girl, Sinful Colors, just more of a babyish pink. Um, it's kind of coralish a little bit. It's really pretty pink color though. Then for my nail polish remover wipes, I wish I could buy these somewhere. My friend sent them to me. Um, I think it's Primark, so it would be um, over in the UK, I guess. But these don't even smell at all like nail polish. They smell really good, um, and they work amazing. On glitter, they take anything off. There's 25 pads in here, but I think you only have like three left because um, it comes in like a little container like this. Um, e.l.f. has little ones like this. Um, similar packaging, I think, so maybe I'll try them. Maybe they'll be the same things, but I'm really stuck on these. I absolutely love those. Oh, last lip product, again, it's from Superdrug, which would be a UK brand, um, is the Little Green Tin, and this is pretty much down to the tin because I use it every night. Um, my lips get very chapped, and I use this before I go to bed, and it's just really good. It smells amazing. It smells like green apple or something. I don't even know what it smells like, but it smells really, really good, and it says it has aloe vera in it. just makes your lips super, super smooth. Okay, that's it pretty much for makeup. Two random razors. I have these, and these are like the eyebrow razors, and I love these. Um, you get two of these in a pack at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, so you get two for a dollar, and I just love these. I use them pretty much all the time for just shaping my eyebrows real quick or something if I'm running out the door. And then lastly, my favorite razor since I'm a couponer. Um, I got this razor actually for free and I did get a couple of them, but they're amazing. It's this and it's the Schick. I don't even know what this one's called, but it has like the little trim thing on the bottom and it's like battery operated and then just the razor on top. But it is really, really good, and I'm absolutely in love with this razor. I'm always like trying to switch razors to find one that I really like. Um, I'm never gonna switch because it. Ah, ouch. I'm never gonna switch because I really like this one. Um, so yeah, you can use this in the water um, and everything. So random, but I love it. Um, next is this, and to take my makeup off, I have e.l.f. wipes, I have um, regular makeup remover, I have MAC makeup remover, um, I pretty much tried everything. Honestly, I was at the Dollar Tree and I seen this, and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna pick it up. And this was probably about a year and a half ago, I would say, I think it did even a blog post on it. Um, but anyway, it's the cold cream, and this is deep cleanses and removes makeup. It is exactly like Pond's, and I know I did a blog post about it because the ingredients on the back were the exact same as the um, ingredients on the Pond's cold, cold cream. And this is like, I can't even tell you, this lasts forever. It smells really good. I use this every night, you guys. And it leaves your skin really moisturized, really nice, takes your makeup off like with no problem. Like even this waterproof mascara that takes forever to get off. This takes it off in no time at all. So definitely I would recommend this. Dollar Tree, I know. I don't normally like to use like products that I don't know on my face, but I've used this for over a year and it's amazing and it smells so good. Honestly, if you've ever tried Pond's cold cream, this is an exact dupe for it. I promise that. Okay, so then last beauty thing I guess related would be this Hawaiian Tropic Shimmer Effect, and this is Coconut Papaya. Amazing, it gives you the nicest shimmer ever for summer, and it just really glistens your skin, it gives you a little bit of glitter, and it's just really amazing. It smells amazing, everything about it I love. Um, it's SPF, uh, this one's the After Sun Moisturizer. Um, so this doesn't have any SPF in it. I do have an orange one, I think it's orange. Um, that has SPF in it. Both of them are amazing. And again, I have a um, review on my blog, my review blog. So the link's in the information box. 
Okay, so just one hair product. I forgot actually hair products and I had this one, um, but I do love this one. It's got to be smooth operator and it's the luster lotion. Again, this has been in my favorites video I know forever, but it's an amazing. Makes your hair so soft and so shiny, not greasy, and it just makes it look honestly amazing. Like, I love this. This is my favorite hair product. That's the only hair product I have, but with me, but that is really good as well. Um, next for perfume, it would be this um, Marc Jacobs Daisy. And if you know me in real life, you know this is my signature scent. I smell like this all the time. I absolutely love the scent of it. But true story, if I spray it like anywhere on my skin, I'll break out. So I don't know if it's just me or if it's this perfume, but I love it. Um, I'm gonna buy another bottle of it because it's almost out. But um, I can only spray it on my clothes and things like that. If I do put it on my skin or even if it like irritates my skin, I'll break out in a big rash and it's not cute, but it smells really good. <laughs> Okay, so we are big gamers at my house. We play video games a good bit. Um, some of my favorite games are on the Wii. Um, we have PlayStation 3, PSPs, DS, 3DS, all that. Um, and then my camera died, so I have to use my flip. Um, my memory was full. But anyway, we're big gamers at our house, and I just brought a few of my favorite games that I like to play. Um, for the PS3, it would be Little Big Planet. Two, the first one and the second one are good, um, and these games like never get old. They're so fun, so definitely love that. I forgot to bring a Kinex game, but I guess it would be, what is that, Dance Central? I don't know, we play that a good bit, but we don't really have any good games for the Kinex. I don't think they have any good games at all. I do want to try that Wipeout, so if you play that or have played it, let me know how that is, because I wouldn't mind trying that out. Um, for Wii, it would be Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Um, I love this game. It's so fun. And then I like the Kirby's Epic Yarn. And this is really fun as well. Um, we're addicted to this. I am actually rented this this year, this one, because I purchased this one as soon as it came out. And we rented this one, and I had to go out and buy it, so I just actually got it for Christmas. But um, I've been playing it, and I'm really liking it so far, so excited about that. Um, two of my all-time favorites, I would say, I love Mario games. I know I'm a big dork, right? But it's the Mario Galaxy, really, really fun. Um, if you never tried that, definitely play that. Or the Mario Galaxy number two. I normally don't like sequels to anything, but this game does not disappoint, and I would say these are pretty much both really fun games. They're good for kids and you can have two players on each one of these. Um, you can have two players on this but you can have four players with this one. So this is fun family game. Um, normally we all play. So that's fun. Um, those were my Wii and PlayStation 3 games. I really do not play um, Xbox at all. Normally my son is playing Xbox 360. I don't have any games that I really like to play for that. But I do have my DS bag and I do play DS games. I'm such a dork. My favorite um, games for, I kept my DS Lite because um, you can play the old Game Boy Advance games on it. And a lot of my old school games I know are on the Game Boy Advance. Like the Donkey Kong Country, which I do have for Wii. Um, the Mario vs. Donkey Kong, um, Donkey Kong Country 2, these are all fun games. Um, Super Mario World, this is an old school favorite. Um, you guys are probably bored out of your mind. Donkey Kong Country 3, um, Mario and Luigi, that's not that fun. Crash, any kind of Crash games I love. Um, Super Mario Brothers is probably my all-time favorite that I did play a lot. I beat that game many of times. I would say that's pretty much all for my DS games. Um, we just got three DSs for Christmas, and I've been playing the Mario Land, 3D Mario Land or whatever um, Mario game came out with it, and it's fun. I do love my 3DS, but it sometimes gives me a headache. I'm glad you can turn the 3D on and off. Um, but I think that's really neat that they did that 3D, and I do look for them to come out with a TV 
that you don't have to wear like glasses with with the 3D. Anyway, favorite phone. I've went through my husband starting the go kart or the four wheeler. Okay, so I went through. I'm gonna let me wait until he pulls out. Which is so annoying. It's not gonna start. It doesn't sound like it's starting. He knows I'm doing a video too. He's just like revving it up. They got a new um, go kart for Christmas. I'll put a picture here. Thank God he pulled out with that. But anyway, um, I have went through three iPhone 4s this year, and then I got my iPhone 4S. I don't know when it came out. Um, so my favorite phone is obviously my iPhone, and it's really, really cute. I don't know if I would care too much for the white. I mean, I do because there's no other phone that's white, so um, you know kind of what kind of phone it is. But... Um, the iPhone 4S isn't that much different than iPhone 4, so if you're wondering to upgrade or not, I would just wait for the iPhone 5 to come out. But um, I do love my phone. I can't say that. I don't. Um, favorite purse would be this. Poor ugly thing. Um, this is so dirty and so ugly, but I have honestly always go back to this purse. I don't know why. It's just comfortable. It fits everything that I need to. It has like a pocket on the side. It's like my favorite purse. And it's hard for me to find purses that I like are really cute that I really like because I carry like a ton of shit with me, right? So it's just like a hot mess. But um, I do like that purse. I'm trying to think. Oh, belts. Belts I've been wearing is this one. I'm not too big on belts, but these are my two favorite ones that I always seem to find myself wearing. It would be this one. It's just like the rhinestones on it. It's really pretty. Elastic, obviously, in the back, but it's just really cute. I know I got that from Body Central. And then this is like an old school belt that I cannot remember where I got it from. I have a brown one and I have a black one. And it's just a really, really thick, wide belt that you see me probably wear with everything. Um, I don't know. I just love this belt. I just wear it all the time. It just makes any outfit look cute, I think. And um, I wish I knew where I could get another one, like a different color, though, like a pink one or something, because it's just so big. It's pretty random. But anyway, that is pretty much all of that I can think of my favorites for this past year. Um, everybody asks me what my New Year's resolution is. I don't have one because... The way I think, I don't know why you should start out your new year with um, goals and stress and trying to get to your goal or whatever um, when you're just going to set yourself up normally for failure anyway because most of the time goal, people set unrealistic goals and then they get depressed and it's just not even worth it. Um, as long as my family's happy and healthy is all that matters. That's the only kind of goal that I have, I guess, for 2012. I would like to be in our new house, which we should be this year, probably before summer, so I'm super, super excited about that, and yeah, this video is probably an hour long, so I'm going to have to edit it way down. Lighting, I know my pink walls and like my curtains and everything, but I think once we get moved in here, like I didn't put anything up on the walls yet because my husband has to put the trim around, and he said I can't because the stuff will be falling off the walls or whatever. But once I get it decorated, I don't think it'll be as bad. Hopefully there's not an echo because the house is empty. Um, we did get our kitchen cabinets in, so if you want to see what my kitchen cabinets look like and a sneak peek into our new house, I will post it in my vlog for today. Um, so if you have a favorites video that you've done, um, your favorites video for whatever, um, post it as a video response. I would love to watch you guys'. Um, again, thanks for the support, and hopefully... Many new videos to come in 2012. If you have any requests or anything that you want me to do, um, you can leave them in a comment or on my Facebook. Oh, also, I've been giving away stuff on my fan page. 
I'm gonna have I don't know if I'm gonna have a weekly giveaway or a monthly giveaway but there's a giveaway going on now for the New Year's and I'll pick a winner New Year's Day all you have to do is like and comment and then I'll just pick a winner at random so that's always going on if you have Instagram you can um, follow me it's XOXO Amanda Kisses um, I post pictures on there like an addict like I'm addicted to taking pictures so um, yeah thanks for watching you guys and hopefully you take care and be blessed.